For this mini lecture, we're going to take a look at special occasion, occasion speeches. Now, a special occasion speech has the general purpose to either celebrate, commemorate, inspire, or entertain. Most of you have heard many special occasion speeches, and this may be the type of speech that you will have to do at some point in your life. Now, there are different types of special occasion speeches. One is a toast or a roast. Let's say you have been asked to be the best man at your friend's wedding, where you would be giving a toast. Or a roast is a comical uh, special occasion speech. You'll often see this when someone is retiring. Another type of a speech is, is a speech of introduction. This would be when you would be introducing the main speaker at some event. A speech of award presentation is when you are presenting an award and a speech of award acceptance is when you are receiving an award. You may think of the um, Screen Actors Guild's awards or the Academy Awards. That would be an example of a speech of award acceptance. Another type of special occasion speech is a eulogy or a tribute. This would be a speech that is delivered at a funeral or a memorial service or commemorating the accomplishments of somebody. A speech of inspiration is what you might hear at a college graduation ceremony. And finally, an after-dinner speech, which does not necessarily need to be after dinner, has a purpose of entertaining, but it does have a relevant message. For this assignment, you have two options with your special occasion speech. You may do a speech of introduction, where you will be introducing a speaker of your choice, or a speech of tribute, where you will commemorate a person, place, or thing, uh, living or deceased. Now for either one of these choices, the speech length is three to five minutes. Uh, this speech assignment is a little unique in that you will be telling us who we are as the audience. So the audience is literally adapting to you for this assignment rather than you adapting for the audience. So for example, we could be attending your parents' 30th anniversary party to hear your tribute or toast to them. We could be attending an event at Hack to hear your favorite author speak and you are introducing that author. Now as you have done with other speeches in this course, you will be delivering this speech extemporane extemporaneously. Of course that means you will be preparing the speech ahead of time. You will be using an outline. Now you will want to consider the audience and the occasion. You will need to do a little bit of research about your speech. So even if you are paying tribute to your grandmother, you'll probably want to gather some information about her that you did not previously know. Of course, you're going to outline and organize the speech. And as always, you're going to want to practice before actually delivering the speech. This speech does allow for more creativity than you have had with other speeches. And for a speech that is a honoring someone or is a tribute to someone, you'll want to be sure not to select something that uh, is too, has too much self-disclosure or is too emotional for you to complete. Chapter 17 in the text focuses on special occasion speeches, so you should review this chapter. And I have also included links to a variety of special occasion speeches that are contained within the module for special occasion speaking. You should review some of these speeches, if not all of them, because it will give you some specific examples of various special occasion speeches. Now I would like to talk just a little bit about the audience, a special note about uh, things to consider with the audience. For this speech, as I mentioned, the audience will be adapting to you rather than you adapting to the audience, at least for the purposes of this assignment. But if this were a real life situation and you were asked to deliver a special occasion speech, you would want to think about some things with the audience. One, who is going to be there? Uh, where will you be speaking? How long do you think you should speak for? Have you been given a designated time? Uh, how long do you think is appropriate? And something that is not mentioned in the book, but that I think is important to include, is are there cultural norms that you should consider if you are asked to deliver a special occasion speech? For example, if you are giving a toast at a wedding, uh, you would want to think about the audience there, and often those toasts can be uh, very lighthearted. 
Whereas if you are delivering a eulogy at a funeral, you would have a very different audience and you would want to adapt your message appropriately. Now taking a look at the special occasion outline. As always, you should include at the top of your outline your name, topic, your specific purpose, and your central idea. The introduction will still contain an attention getter, credibility material, relevance to the audience, and a preview of the speech. But as is noted, short speeches may incorporate all of these in one sentence. So the introduction for your informative speech would be longer and was longer than what the introduction would be for this speech. The body of your speech are still going to have main points. However, very short speeches may only have one or two main points. And of course, you would still have the sub points as your supporting details. And the conclusion would still have a summary, an audience response, and a memorable closer. Again, you should reflect the mood of your audience and the speech and adapt your conclusion appropriately. And as always, transitions are important throughout your speech. Now, although you may need to do a little research for this speech, it is not going to be necessary for you to cite your sources orally or in the outline. So if you need to do a little research about your grandmother, you do not need to say who you spoke to or uh, have a list of work cited at the end of your outline. So just as an assignment overview, now all these specific guidelines for the special occasion speech are included in the module for D2L, so you will want to review the specific guidelines. You should also review the grading rubric for the speech and the outline so that you have a very clear understanding of the expectations. You will need to submit your outline to the Dropbox by Thursday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, just as it has been for other speeches. And the speech is due in media share by Saturday of that same week at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So those are just reminders that would follow the same um, format as previous speeches. So for this special occasion speech, this is an opportunity for you to be creative, uh, think about uh, who you may want to pay tribute to, and to still though use some of the guidelines and structure that is necessary for an extemporaneous speech. So I would say with this one, have fun.